Hi everyone! Merry Christmas! <laughs> I don't know if you celebrate Christmas or if you don't celebrate Christmas. I hope you had a lovely bank holiday. I have only one Christmas jumper, so it's the same that I had last year. Let me just step up for you to see. It's just a Father Christmas, so I don't know, big teddy Christmas jumper. But anyway, let me uh, attach this mic. Celebrate the holidays using red as the main color. When I think about Christmas specifically, I have a spotlight for you. It's this tiny and amazing Phalaenopsis. I have showed you in What's in Bloom before. I have done shorts with this one, but I've never recorded a spotlight and I decided that today would be the perfect occasion. I didn't expect it to be in bloom now in the middle of summer, but I think it's, although it is a polycarnose type of orchid, for any reason push out a ton of different flower spikes, I think. Probably one of the parents do the same. And decided to push out these blooms. And I love it so much. So let's dive in. I talk to you a little bit about this plant. And we'll explore it together. I hope you enjoy it. I love this plant so, so much. Specifically because of the color. This dark red is one of my favorite colors. So... Why not to show you this one today? I hope it will warm up your heart before Christmas Day. And I will not be here. I've already recorded that one week before because I am with my family in Brazil and we will definitely be celebrating. So, without further ado and enough blood for, for one video, I'll talk to you about this. And who is this beautiful lady here? This beautiful lady here is my Phalaenopsis mini Estrella. I bought it from Spice Exotic Plants. I don't know how long ago, maybe two years ago. And this is a primary hybrid between Phalaenopsis cornocervi and Phalaenopsis tetrasps. They are both species and I have the tetrasps. I don't have the cornocervi. What I notice about the leaves is that the leaves has lots of anthocyanin, that is the dark pigment. So when it's exposed to bright light, it will become purple, full of purple dots, which is completely normal. I think it comes from the corner survey because the tetrasps doesn't do it. It's a little bit different, it doesn't have so much anthocyanin like this one has. Another thing that I notice about this plant is that it push out a ton of roots, a ton of aerial roots, it's definitely an epiphyte, comes from both parents that are epiphyte orchids, and many, many flower spikes. They are not all in bloom at, the, at this time now. I have had it in bloom for a year, going on and off, but it's pushing out many cakes as well, so it has two cakes here on the flower spikes, so that's definitely something that can happen to yours, and it's that is natural and normal. The advantage is you can definitely pot up the cake separately and you can have more beautiful blooms or you can pot them together and have an even bushier plant. I don't know what I'm gonna do with mine yet, I'm still deciding. But not only it's growing super nicely full of roots, full of leaves, full of flower spikes, but also it's pushing out flowers each few months they start pushing out more flowers and more flowers and they are so adorable they are tiny but they don't have a large size however i think the color makes up for it it has no fragrance whatsoever i know that the tetraspis has no fragrance as well but i don't know the corner survey as i said i don't own it so i have no idea but I think the flowers of this one resemble more of the corner server than the tetraspis. The color, the corner server has this dark color that when you look at the flowers, if you Google it, it has like this sort of vinyl, I don't know, this waxy touch treat. What I like is that the cap, the tunnel here, the top, the top of the leaf is yellow. So it gives a contrast in the middle of the plant. And there is something to this plant that I know that definitely comes from the tetraspis is the lip. The lip is hairy and that's a cute trait from the tetraspis is this hairy lip. So I can see where it comes from knowing what the parents are. 
More than that, I just enjoy this plant. Keeps it in my under my growing lights. And I love to look at these blooms. Like every day I go there and look at them and they warm my heart. I offer the same care that I offer to all of my phalaenopsis. It's potted in bark and moss. I water it once each 10 days or whenever it needs some water, depends on the climate. I fertilize it weekly or when I forgot, it's two weeks, but it has some slow release fertilizer on this pot as well. What else? That's it. I just offer some bright light, but not direct sunlight because phalaenopsis, they can be burned easily and they don't need the brightest spot in your house either. With indirect sunlight, they should grow well. And that's all that you need to do to look after this beautiful plant. Here in the UK, I think the price of this plant is like £25. We pay usually a little bit more for plants than when you were in Europe because it's difficult to import and export from where we are. We are in an island and we are not commercially part of Europe anymore. But I think you can even find that hybrid for a much cheaper price where you are. Look for it. I definitely recommend it. It's a joy to grow, super easy. And the blooms are beautiful. That's everything that I want to tell you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Helps a lot. And enjoy Christmas. Or enjoy the bank holiday. Celebrate the way that you want to celebrate. And if you don't like Christmas. If you are not Christian. Enjoy. Just rest. Relax. Do something fun. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.